Attention, you are now being connected to the Gas Game Farm. This is an online multiplayer gaming environment. Feeding of the animals is strictly prohibited. For your own safety, please keep your hands on your controller at all times. A general feeling of amusement will be felt throughout the program. Should you experience any nausea or lightheadedness, please consult a physician. Your Game Farm experience starts now. taking you to the next level in video game entertainment. I think you mean game entertainment, Max. You're right, I do. Down on the farm, we got nothing but love for video game news, jokes, tips, and tricks. And it all starts right now with our four gamers, one, two, three, four, who are going to be playing our online multi-gamer tournament. Three, two, one, go! This tournament is played online right here at Game Farm. In Stable 1, we have Caleb. Give me some skin. Yeah! Caleb, are you ready to play? Yeah! You're gonna win? Yeah! Caleb is locked into Stable 1. In Stable 2, we have Katie. Katie! You feel ready? Yeah. MotoGP's a tough game. Are you ready to kick these guys' butts? Yeah. Here we go. What? Well, in Stable 3, I don't know. I've got Elisa. Elisa, are you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Give me some skin. All right! Elise is ready to roll, and our fourth player doesn't even need a stable because he's coming to us live via the internet from Eric from Wisconsin. Hi, Eric, how are you feeling today? Good. All right. Hey, Max, I think this gamer is ready to start. And let's get out of here. Attention, gamers. It is now time to press start. In three, two, one, go. As always at our online multi-gamer tournament, has all four of these gamers playing the same video game online at the same time. And three of them have their own rotating stables here on the farm that help them get into the game and focus. Well, that's what Game Farm is all about, Max, to help gamers everywhere get into the game. To find out how you can play on Game Farm, go online and check out our Game Farm website. All right, and I think it's time we told gamers just exactly what we're playing today. Max, our gamers have their video game faces on because they are playing MotoGP. Our gamers will have to lean into every turn on these racetracks. Their souped up motorcycles move just like the real thing, and our gamers are going to be racing head to head for the first two rounds. And the one gamer, Ann, who's in first place after two rounds, will get to face the ultimate test. They will go toe to toe with Game Farm's very own video game motorcycle maniac, Ninja of Madness, the Game Whoa! <laughs> Our Gameinator is a video game Jedi. He sure I mean, is. This guy knows every single video game on the shelf, Max. They say he even sleeps with a controller under his pillow. That's scary. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see that guy play. Okay, and I've got to make like a tyrant roll because it's time for me to go greet our Game Farm guest. Well, what are you waiting for? Coming up, Game Farm is going to get downright game malicious. We're going to go inside some tech toys in our Game Farm lab, as well as run you through the not-so-serious video game news on Gamertainment tonight. But now, I think Max has spied the guest who is going to be the human in our human video game. Hey, Max, who did you find over there? And I spy a spy kid, and his name is Daryl Sabera. Daryl, thanks for coming down to the farm, man. No problem. Now, you are in Spy Kids 3D Game Over, the third Spy Kids movie. Yeah. Now, there's also a video game being based on the movie, right? Yes. So, Having done a movie and a video game, do you prefer playing a character in a movie or a game? I probably prefer a character in a game because I don't have to wear makeup, wake up early, or do any of my own stunts. And if I'm about to mess up, I just have to hit pause. The pause button saves the day. Well, you could just hang with us, Mr. Juni Cortez, because you are going to be the human in our human video game later. No Is that cool? way. That's awesome. Daryl. And what is that noise? Do you hear that? Yes. Ah, music to my ears, Max. That sound must mean it's time for the Game Farm Top 5. Every week, Game Farm posts a new Top 5 poll at our website that allows gamers at home to give us their keen insight into the gaming world. This week, we want you guys to rank the Top 5 hippest hairstyles. From 1 to 5, we want you to rank the video game characters with the coolest and craziest hair. And let's check out the nominees. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. The only thing bigger than this boy's head is his hair. 
The cowlick up top has become Jimmy's signature trademark. If you look at him from behind, he kind of looks like a giant soft ice cream cone. Jack from Jack and Daxter. It kind of looks like Jack might sleep in front of a fan, or maybe he's just uh, related to Max. Jack is a handsome devil, isn't he? Yes, he is. Of course, our list of hip hairdos would not be complete without Allen Iverson. The only thing cooler than this guy's crossover is his tight cornrows. Face it, Allen Iverson is the answer. Another contender is the wizard with perpetual bedhead, Harry Potter. I think he uses mousse. I mean, really, how can his hair always be messy but still never cover up that cool-looking lightning bolt scar? And lastly, but not leastly, we have none other than Blossom of the Powerpuff Girls. This fiery redhead holds her locks all together with a huge bow that is reported to weigh 15 pounds. You know, Anne, I'm quite flattered you think I look like Jack from Jack and Daxter. Mm, you should be, uh... Jack is a catch. Well, there you have it. The top five hippest hairstyles to be ranked by you, the gamers at home. Go to our website for this week's poll and to find out how you can enter for a chance to win a video game prize in this week's Game Farm Sweepstakes. Hey, Max, floss later. We've got to get our lab coats on. <gasps> game Farm top five over. It is now time to insert Game Farm Lab. <laughs> Gamers, clear your brain sockets because it's time for the Game Farm Lab. This is where we explain the technology behind tech toys and gadgets. Now, all of the genius designers out, out there can help you see video games with really cool graphics. They can help you hear them by putting in cool sound effects and music. But today, we're going to show you how designers help you feel video games. It's called Force, Force feedback. feedback. Watch. Ooh, it's alive. Not really. A motor inside the controller makes him spin really, really fast, causing the controller to shake. Oh, well, how does the controller know when to do that, Anne? Well, that info is on your game CD. Aha! Designers program their games to know exactly when rumble should happen. Now, bigger controllers, of course, have bigger force feedback. Mm, oh, yeah! The bigger motor in here will give you more variety in vibrations. They can make you feel different road surfaces or make you feel resistance in a turn. You know what I think, Anne? Mm. I think we should end this segment with our imitation of a really angry controller giving force feedback. Let's do and it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Out of control. Game Farm Lab has been disconnected. Please join the multi-gamer tournament still in progress. When we come back, we're going to see which one of our gamers has taken the lead in Game Farm's Elite Online Multi-Gamer Tournament. Right now, our gamers are still racing their cycles around the track in MotoGP. But we're also going to play a human video game with Daryl Severa, one of the stars of Spy Kids 3D. Game over. You ready, Daryl? I'm born ready. Hope you brought your appetite. It's delicious. Oh, no. Please return to your seat. You are about to be reconnected to Game Farm. Hey gamers, welcome back to Game Farm, your home for gamertainment. And what is gamertainment, you ask? Gamertainment is everything we love about video games. Excitement, adventure, and the need for speed. Speaking of speed, and it's time to start round two of our online multi-gamer tournament. Let's get out of here. Attention gamers, it is now time to press start. In three, two, one, go. All four of these gamers are playing MotoGP online. Just look at the stables. They're custom made for the ultimate video game fan. Hey gamers at home, do you want to be playing with us? Well then put your left trigger where your mouth is. Go to our website to find out how you can maybe get on Game Farm. All right, here's the update. After one round of competition, this is how the gamers stack up. In third place is Katie in Stable 2. And in second place, there's Elise in Stable 3. Hide for first is Caleb in Stable 1 and our online player, Eric, all the way from Wisconsin. Eric, how does it feel to be playing online, man? Yeah, it's fine. Awesome. Well, Daryl, we still have four gamers left, but only one will make it to the final round to race against the Gaminator. Ooh, I can feel the tension in the air. The Gaminator's ready to ride his video game cycle right over these gamers. Man, he's really buff. Round two started. You are now arriving at Game Attainment tonight. <laughs> A good evening. 
I'm Max. And this is it. Good evening. This is Gamertainment Tonight, where we bring you all the news in Gamertainment that's fit to speak. In Hollywood last night, a gala was held in honor of the video game legend Frogger. Many video game celebrities were in attendance. Tragically, the frog of the hour never made it. He was blindsided by a minivan while hopping his way to the party. That's terrible. Yes. But fans needn't worry. The accident happened while Frogger still had four lives left. Oh, you know, the little guy never uses a crosswalk. That's what you get. Designers are currently making a video game version of Tic-Tac-Toe. In an effort to make the game seem more exciting, the designers are thinking of renaming it Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Tic-Tac-Toe. <laughs> It's more exciting. I'd buy it. Mm, I wouldn't. Despite their latest addition, Sega reports that their college franchise is in serious jeopardy. Apparently, many of next year's players will be going straight from high school to NBA 2K4. In other news, game publishers Take Two are said to be turning air hockey into a video game. I think I speak for all gamers when I say, gee, guys, that sounds like a really great idea. Do you mean that? No. <laughs> in less sarcastic news, industry experts are already criticizing the realism in Tiger Woods' golf video game. For instance, the fact that Tiger can beat every other golfer in the game is realistic. The fact that Tiger's caddy is a talking hippo named Murray <laughs> is not realistic. I loved Murray. He was the best. You love hippos. Speaking of sports, the video game Pro Bass Fishing is being reviewed in many magazines. They say the game really captures that great feeling you get after spending several hours on a boat staring at water. <laughs> okay, seriously, is pro bass fishing really a game? Yes, but it does sound kind of fishy, doesn't it? <laughs> is that a joke? Yeah. No. Okay, well, that's all the news in Gamertainment this week. I'm Max. And I'm not. And one more time, good night, and as always, thanks for playing. Game attainment tonight has expired. Please initiate a human video game. Okay, Daryl, now as an actor, you get to play lots of different roles, right? Right. Well, today, you get to play the role of a lifetime. Today, you get to be that classic dot-munching machine known as Pac-Man. Awesome. Pac-Man has been eating his way across video game screens for years. Now you get to bring him to life. Hey, Max, why don't you explain to us how it's going to do? Like I said, Anne, I hope the spy kid brought his appetite, because just like the arcade legend, Daryl is going to have to navigate this little map here on the floor. He has to run and stand on each of these yellow markers while I throw these yellow dots down to him. Just like Pac-Man, he has to catch one in his mouth before he can move on to the next one. Now, if Daryl can get all of these markers in under a minute, he will have officially completed a game of human Pac-Man. Daryl, make Pac proud. Pac-Man will be proud. All right, Daryl, you ready to play human Pac-Man? Pac-Man is always ready. All righty then, when I say go, okay? Take your position. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Daryl, you've got such a big mouth. Pac-Man usually handles them one at a time. Thanks, Anne. Hey, thanks for coming to play human video games today, Pac-Man and a Spy Kid. Hey, Max, you know, you did a really great job, but you could have been a little quicker with the dots. Ah! Human video game over. The multi-gamer tournament requires your attention. <laughs> Right now, round two of our online multi-gamer tournament is speeding towards the finish line. When we come back, only one of these gamers will be here to face the Gaminator in our final round of MotoGP. But before we leave, we once again got to thank one of the stars of Spy Kids 3D Game Over, Daryl Sabera, for playing Human Pac-Man with us today. Give me five. All right. Daryl, you didn't even have to hit pause once, man. This Pac-Man don't need pause, Ooh. yo. Ooh. Well, don't you press pause, gamers, because when we come back, it's time to meet the Gaminator. No, Max. It's more like this. 
the game Anita. Okay, like the game Anita. Okay, Carol, you try. The game Anita. Let's all go. Please return to your seat. You are about to be reconnected to Game Farm. Hola gamers, welcome back to Game Farm. Game Farm is where we help gamers reach the peak of their video game potential. And Max, I think we helped some gamers do just that today. I'd like to thank Caleb, Katie, and Elise for playing in our online multi-gamer tournament today. Thanks, Elise. You guys Who's were really skin, great. Caleb? All right, Katie. And now it's time to meet the one gamer who's still in the game after two rounds. And I'm heading to the tractor. Show some hustle, Max. Okay, today our gamers have been racing around the track in MotoGP. These 500cc motorcycles can ride over 80 miles an hour going around hairpin turns. And now Max is going to meet the one gamer who has made it to our final round. In first place after two rounds is our online player Eric, all the way from Wisconsin. Congratulations, Eric. You are an official member of the Barn of Fame. That means your name and your picture are going to be on our website, dude. How's that feel? Uh, it's exciting and... I guess I'm surprised I won. I'm not. You were rocking the whole time. What is exciting, Eric, is that you are about to play the Gaminator in our final round of competition. This Gaminator knows how to navigate his cycle to the finish line, even in the worst of weather. And by the way he's dressed, I'd say MotoGP is one of his best games. Hey, Ann, I'm going to give Eric a little bit more time to practice. What are you guys uh, talking about there over in the lounge? Hey, Matt. Come join us. I've quickly gathered a solid group of young gamers here, and today we want to find out with who, where, when you guys play video games. Let's start with where. Angie, where do you most often play games? At your house, your friend's house? I usually play at my house in my bedroom. Me too. That's where I play. Now, what about with who? Uh, Candace, who do you play video games with? My little brother, my dad, and my friends. Oh, do you always win? Sometimes. Sometimes. What about when? John, do you play games in the morning? After school, uh, weekends, whatnot. Yeah, I usually play. Uh, I usually play video games after I do my homework and on the weekends. I got a lot of time on the weekends too. You can have your friends over. Well, there's definitely one place you don't want to play video games, and that would be when you're doing your own stunts in a Spy Kids movie. Just watch and learn. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, look, that's Daryl Sabera for Spy Kids. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. Please focus on the screen. It is now time for the Gaminator. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time to unleash the Gaminator. Place after two rounds is our online gamer Eric. Eric has done an awesome job eliminating all of the other opponents, but now it's time to face the Gaminator. He's a lean, mean gaming machine. I've never seen him lose a race in MotoGP. Eric, are you ready? I'm ready. And Eric is ready. Gaminator, are you ready? Max, the Gaminator is ready. Let the video game begin. Attention, gamers. It is now time to press start. In three, two, one, go. And they're off. And they're off. Who's in the lead? Who's in the, the lead? The Gaminator has an early lead. Eric is right behind him, though. We can still see both of them, man. It's a tight race. Wow, tight Eric turn. passes the Gaminator. What? This is incredible. Eric has mastered honed his skills all day, Ann, and it seems what? now it's paying off. I think the Gaminator just passed him. The Gaminator did just pass Eric, but it's a very close race. Anything could happen around this turn right here, and it does. Eric is back into the lead. Oh, Gaminator's back on, though. He's passed Eric again. How does he do that? He comes out of nowhere, Max. The Gaminator spent his life honing these skills, Ann. But Eric, Eric, oh, right around the corner. This is how he passed him last time, Ann. Another tight turn. This is a steady race. The Gaminator wipes out. What nice. happened? The Gaminator crashed, and Eric is in the lead. And Eric is rounding his turn. Eric, don't fall. Gaminator's back on the course. He's right behind him, man. This is close. Eric, Eric. Eric rounds the turn. Eric has one more turn, and then he's got a straightaway. 
That's it. It's all about the straightaway now. And Eric Eric needs to hit the pedal. It looks like he's going to win this. And he crosses this the, the finish line. Eric wins the race. Yeah. Eric beats the Game Inator. Nice job, buddy. Unbelievable. So, Game Inator, tell us, was Eric a worthy opponent? Let's check out that replay. And this replay. Yeah, this is Eric crossing the finish line way ahead of the Gaminator. Eric did it. Awesome. That's it for Game 5 this week, gamers. Until next time, may your play always be extended. And your thumbs never be too sore. Later, gamer. Yeah! The Spectivision Game Pack will be issued to all of today's Game Farm gamers. And a special bonus thanks to Sap Hill of America, Incorporated. The Nick Gas Game Farm is now over. Goodbye. Studios in Universal Studios, Florida.